special way this is done, so pay attention. Someone said it's a favorite? Yeah, I heard I that. Oh, that just seems like the cool. That seems like. Look at you volunteering. Fuck around, find out. That just seems the most interesting. Thank you for your sacrifice. This is what we were talking about on that Monday. Or Wednesday, whatever day it was. Once it's wrapped and it's tight, whatever you want to put it back down, right? You want it put out. Position of comfort. Okay, but it doesn't matter as far as like blood flow. If you're splitting it, it's gonna. If you have to split, then you're splitting in whichever way is gonna be best for the patient. If if you've wrapped that amputation and they want to keep it close to them, if it ain't bleeding and it ain't hurting nothing, it ain't squirting, let them put it next to them. So let's say we have a neck wound here. So he got stabbed in the neck. Mm. Somehow they missed all the major arteries, but there's still a lot of bleeding. Well, what could he have hit? Vein. 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 What else is up here? What else Carotid. is What else is here? Trachea. Trachea. What passes in the trachea? Air. 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 So he's having a hard time breathing. <laughs> He's having trouble breathing, so what do we do for him? We die. Cover his whole thing. Help him breathe. Oxygen. Oxygen. Start with oxygen. If he if he legitimately can't breathe, then we ventilate. So, what's this very similar to? Not exactly. Same thing. Now, what's? It might be stupid, but what is the difference between them having that in their neck and having like a trach or stoma? The difference is a, a trach or stoma is uh, placed pur purposefully and so the surgical airway itself is, is now clean and there's a tube or there's a whole passage that was created specifically for it due to some issue that the patient was unable to to maintain their own airway so there will be a hole but would it function the same it may or it may not if, if someone was stabbed in the neck they have blood going down their trachea they have blood going down they're having a hard time breathing. They could have caused a lot of uh, trauma or damage to the actual airway itself, not allowing him to breathe. So a, a, a decent sized knife right to the side of the neck, you're creating inflammation, you're creating swelling. So now if you don't secure this, he's not gonna be breathing from, from up here. So in this instance, because it's considered a sucking wound, they get, Occlusive. If it's bleeding a lot and you want to be fancy with it, you can put two by two underneath it, over top of it, whichever way you do it. It doesn't matter which way. As far as I know, there has been there has been no there has been nothing from National Registry whether it's on top or bottom. If you, if you want to if you want to add to it, as long as the occlusive goes on. What does matter is how you secure it. So if you're putting multiple dressings on, let's say we add a big old dressing here. Now the nice thing about using bigger dressings afterwards, what's nice about these? It's easier to wrap. Hmm? It's easier to wrap them. Why would you think it's easier to wrap? More, to more surface. More surface area. What else does this do? Helps. Stabilizes. Stabilizes. And it distributes. Padding, because you, you have to pad in order to make sure the patient's comfortable. Not necessarily, we're not worried about whether they live or die, we just wanna make sure you're comfortable. Right. You got some in there, some pretty sure you're not gonna be comfortable. So, how are we gonna wrap this? Under his arm. We're gonna go like this, you call the time. Yeah, as tight as possible. Keep, 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 as tight as you can. <laughs> as tight as you can. You go under the arm. I'm, I'm gonna go underneath the arm. Underneath here. Under the arm. And then around the back side. Around the back side. Ideally, ideally you want to have multiple providers doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, are you teaching to go in the other figure eight? Figure eight. Yeah. You should do it on the neck. Sorry. Oh.
You want to go around once to secure your cling in place, and then we're going to do the figure eight. So, once under the arm? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then over under? Yeah, the figure eight like this. See how I'm not choking him? The problem with using the dummy on this, when you practice with yourselves, when you do the figure eight properly, when you put this arm down, it pulls, and it makes it a lot tighter. And that's the reason that you put, uh, you do it straight across the initial time is because it creates that tension as you put your arm down. Afterward, doing the figure eight keeps the pressure on the neck itself, on the, on the one side where the wound is, and not creating that, that motion that's going to uh, choke them out. Yep. I don't think I understand the thing. Hang on. But don't you understand? Talk with my goose. From the beginning. <laughs> Can you do it again? Actually, Please. lift to the figure Here, eight. You're, you're, you're my patient. No, or I can do it. No, you're okay. the patient. This will, it makes it a lot easier to demonstrate on somebody. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you stand? Here, you want a chair? Yeah, you can stand. That's fine. Right. Okay. Make sure you get my good uh, side. <laughs> All your sides are good That's sides. That's my good side. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seriously, look, she has I love it. Love you, Dave. You're such a kiss out, Dave. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Ooh, just a good friend. She, she, does, oh, she doesn't. She doesn't good. have an ego to begin with. No. <laughs> princess here. No, no. Uh, Brittany's got my good side supported. I got you. Thank God, at least I'm stabbed on my bad side. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right. All right. Man, do me a favor. Raise your hand up for me. Like this. Nope. Up, 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 oh. up, 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 up. Got it. Partner, right, you got that? Oh. Uh, sure. Cool. I'm gonna bring it around once. They're gonna leave me like this for the rest of the day. Okay, <laughs> once under. Got once it. under. Got it. Gonna continue the route. And then over. <laughs> Sorry there. Okay. Over. They both came in. Once. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. <laughs> okay, so it goes around and to the back side of the head that time. <laughs> Got it. Or run it out. Oh, yeah, okay. perfect. 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 There is an agenda for us doing it this way. Yes. <laughs> there are benefits. Yeah. That was the good part. You take the end of it, you tuck it in a little bit here. Now, go ahead and put your arm down for me. Did it just get nice and tight? Yeah. That's the objective. We would want this padding up higher because it slid some. Yeah. But oh, I see. The idea is that padding it covers it, covering her neck where the uh where the cling or the or the bandage is in place. There you go, like that. So the C collar. Told you we'd be mummies when we got out of here. I, like that was like... I would not put a C collar on for this. No. No. And now we would aviate her immediately to up choke. If I'm aviating, we're not going to up choke. Yeah. I mean, we're going to go with at least a bond support. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Wow. Suckers. Yeah. No, 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 no. 